presenting our research project titled Enterprise Architecture for the Appraisal and Taxation of a Real Property with Geospatial Information System, a segment framework. Together with me are my co-authors, uh, King Sue Subyong, Kimberly Magsino, and Patrick Regonton. Background of the study. The market value of a real property is based on the city's prevailing value. This is governed by its rules and regulations for classification, appraisal, and assessment pursuant to the local government code provisions. Taxes imposed by local government unit, whether direct or indirect compulsory payment, raise re revenue and has direct impact on production and consumption. One of the government's mandate is not just to collect taxes, but also to assess the property value. It is important to identify the assessment level to determine the taxable value of a property based on the fair market value percentage. This study aims to design and develop an enterprise architecture for appraisal and taxation of a real property to ensure accurate assessment and prevent losses in tax collection of local government units through a centralized system. Um, there are numbers of already established um, enterprise architecture frameworks in use today. Some of these frameworks were developed for very specific areas whereas other have broader um, functionality. TOGA focuses on rules for developing good principles rather than providing a set of architecture principles. While the Department of Defense Architecture Framework is an architecture framework designed for United States of Department, uh, United States Department of Defense that provides visualization infrastructure for specific stakeholders concerns through viewpoints organized by various views. Um, the TAF or the Treasury Enterprise Architecture Framework was published in July 2000 by the Department of the Treasury. Um, TAF can be described in terms relative to the Zachman Framework, for example, perspective and views. Um, the four perspective are the same as, the, as in the Zachman Framework and the FAF matrix with exception that TF combines the builder and subcontractor into one. Also, the TF information view corresponds the, the, to the TF data architecture. The TF functional view corresponds to the FAF applications architecture, and the TF infrastructure view corresponds to the FAF technology architecture. FAF does not currently reflect to the TF organi organizational view. This view shows the type of workers in, uh, and the organizational structures. TAF allows the flexibility to define additional views and perspective that focus uniquely on areas important to specific stakeholders. Its aim is to facilitate integration, information sharing, and exploitation of common requirements across the federal agencies. We decided to follow Zachman framework as it appears to be the most comprehensive one in terms of viewpoints related to different aspects as it provides whole enterprise overview. Most of other frameworks represents only a small number of viewpoints related to different aspects of the enterprise. Some of them does not clearly map the ideas to rows and columns unlike Zachman. So here, what? pertains to data on what the data is used in the enterprise, how pertains to function on how to translate the organization's mission into business operation success, who pertains to people on who are the related major facts of the organization, business process information and information technology. Higher level cells pertains to organization units, lower level pertains to user of the system. The where pertains to network. This is the geographical location of the organization's distribution of activities and artifacts. The when pertains to time. This defines the timeline related and evolves to organization's artifacts. The why pertains to motivation. This translates goals and objectives into actions. 
as it is shown here, the first row provides us the view of the overall scope of the enterprise. The second row creating artifacts that describes the enterprise model. The fourth row is used to build the artifacts that describes the technology model. The fifth row is used to create artifacts that describes the system on its current state. And the last row here gives us a view on the details of the actual functioning system based to develop enterprise architecture for appraisal and taxation of real property using a more simplistic view of the framework. Our research design and methodology, data collection analysis and tools for the Zachman framework based on the real property appraisal and taxation process. The secondary data is the existing data that we collected, the standard operating procedures documents, the business process documents, and we conducted interview and observation. The software tools we used are Map Info software for GIS, the front end is Vue.js, the back end is Laravel, and the database is MySQL. Property appraisal and taxation system. In this slide shows the transaction flows of the property appraisal and taxation system. There are four main divisions records, tax map, appraiser, and taxpayer. This is the landing page of the system. This tax map module integrates a two system, RPTAS and tax map, which locate the properties of the tax declaration. An assessment record module shows all the tax declaration records of the city. This RPTAS role module shows the complete details of the tax declaration of the real property. In this module shows all the tax declaration that were scanned and digitized. It is divided by series and organized by zone, barangay, and tax declaration number. In the first part of the perspective of the planner explains one of the business process of the property appraisal and taxation system. What? This column describes the data presented from the planner's point of view from the analysis of this data consists of tax map data, RPTAS data, scan document files, appraiser, encoders, how. This column explains the analysis of the process of appraiser, searching the properties in Manila, and encoders encoding the necessary details of digitized document. Where? This column describes the location of place of Department of Assessment, which is easily and safely accessed. Who? This column describes the human resources that plays an important role in the process of searching properties and coding tax declaration. When? This column discuss the events or schedule new and old tax declaration that's a, that has been scanned or created. Why? This column describes the vision and mission of the Department of Assessment that distinguished it from, from property appraisal and taxation courses. In this point of view, we'll describe the details of the function and detailed explanation of the new property appraisal and taxation system, making it easier for, for users and managers to run the system. A draft is produced from the data from RPTAS state data of Department of Assessment in this column, we will show the example of the result of connecting RPTAS and tax map data that by the appraiser to see all the details in one process. Location. This col column explains the need for network infrastructure that will be used by the appraiser and administrative information system and encoders at Department of Assessment. Organization. This column discusses users who will use the system of property appraisal and taxation system. Schedule. This column discusses the system design and implementation schedule. Strategy discuss the standard operation procedure in using the proper system. It is expected that will can run optimally. Conclusion: the developed enterprise architecture for the appraisal and taxation of property ensures accurate assessment and prevent losses in tax collection of local government units. Enable local governments unit to manage and control the enterprise architecture change. And last, contributes to alignment and improvement of the business and IT process of real property appraisal and taxation. The recommendations are transition of data from on-premise to cloud for online service, develop mobile application for taxpayer and to appraiser, faster mapping and data integration of TaxMap and RPDAS. Thank you for listening.